Hello and welcome to another Sonic Wall video tutorial. My name is MG Sriramaya, Senior Tech Support Engineer, Sonic Wall. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure VLAN trunks for extending networks to port shield groups on Sonic OS 6.2 and above firmware. These are the steps to configure this. Configure interfaces, configure port shield groups, add VLAN trunk ports, assign VLAN ID to trunk ports. The solution described here is only supported in Gen 6 NSA 3600 and above appliances with Sonic OS 6.2 and above firmware. Our first task is to configure the interfaces. Log into the Sonic Wall management interface. Navigate to the network interfaces page. Here I have the X0 interface configured with an IP address of 172.27.24.10. Let us configure one more interface. Click on configure under the X2 interface. Set the zone assignment as DMZ. We want this interface to be on a different subnet from the X0 interface. Under IP address enter 10.10.10.1 and set a 24-bit subnet mask. Leave the default gateway field blank. Enable HTTPS and ping under Management. Click on OK to save this setting. Now we have two internal physical interfaces configured with IP addresses in two different subnets. Our next task is to configure port shield interfaces bound to these two interfaces. We will first port shield the X3 interface to the X0 interface. Click on Configure under the X3 interface. Set the zone assignment as LAN. Set mode IP assignment as Port Shield Switch Mode. And under the Port Shield 2 field, select X0. Click on OK. Now click on Configure under the X4 interface. Set the zone assignment as DMZ. Set mode IP assignment to Port Shield Switch Mode. And under Port Shield 2, select X2. Click on OK. We have now the X3 interface port shielded to X0 and the X4 interface port shielded to X2. Let us now add VLAN trunk ports. Navigate to the VLAN trunking page under Switching. On this page you have the VLAN table. The table has attributes of each interface such as the assigned VLAN ID, associated member ports and trunk status. Notice at the top of the page is a list of reserved VLAN IDs used by Sonic OS. You will also notice that only interfaces associated with a port shield group are configurable and interfaces that are not associated with a port shield group are grayed out. We could change the VLAN IDs of the port shield groups by clicking on configure under each entry. For this video we go with the default IDs. At the bottom of the VLAN table is VLAN trunks. Click the Add button under VLAN Trunks to add an interface from a list of available ports. Let us select interface X5 to be a trunk port and click on OK. You will notice that X5 is listed as a VLAN trunk port but no VLANs have been added to it yet. To add members to this trunk port click on Enable VLAN. Under VLAN ID, enter the VLAN ID of the X0 port shield group which is 2 and click on OK. Without closing the window, add the VLAN ID of X2 port shield group, which is 4, and then click on OK. Remember, if you try to add a VLAN ID that is not associated with a port shield group, you will get an error. Under the trunk port X5, you can see now VLAN IDs 2 and 4 listed. And in the VLAN table, you can see X5 listed as a member of the X0 and X2 interfaces. This is all the configuration required in the Sonic Wall. Next, let us examine the switch configuration. I am logged into a D-Link 28 port switch. Here we have three VLANs. VLAN 1 is the default VLAN. I have created two more VLANs. One I have named Finance and assigned a VLAN ID of 2. I have added posts from 9 to 16 as members of this VLAN. The second VLAN I have created I have named Marketing and assigned a VLAN ID of 4. I have added ports from 17 to 26 as members of this VLAN. 
Port number 1 is designated as the trunk port. This port is connected to the X5 interface of the sonic wall. Hosts connected to the finance VLAN must be in the 172.27.24 subnet. Hosts connected to the marketing VLAN must be in the 10.10.10 subnet. Host connected to each of these VLANs will be able to access host connected to the sonic wall. For example, a host connected to port number 9 will be able to access hosts connected to X0 and X3 interfaces. And a host connected to port number 18 will be able to access hosts connected to X2 and X4 interfaces. This concludes this video on how to configure VLAN trunks for extending networks to portal groups on Sonic OS 6.2 and above firmware. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com support.